Welcome back to MPT. In this video, I'm going to describe radar applications for phased arrays. And if you listen to the end, I will provide a summary and a couple of extra points that are of value to you, I believe. Get your product to market faster with a custom phased array solution from MPT Corp. So like I said, I'm going to be describing some radar applications for phased arrays. Why is this important? It's important because radar it uses phased arrays extensively. And if you're developing a phased array or if you're developing a radar, you need to know what some of those applications are because it could have a big impact on the decisions that you make. So first, let's consider some military radar applications. The first is what I call the large-scale radar. And the example I like to point to is the Tippy 2 radar developed uh, for the U.S. government uh, for missile defense. It's a large radar. It's used to detect ballistic missiles that are, are launched, and it, it acquires them, it tracks them, it discriminates, and it does all lots, lots of other things uh, and, that are useful for missile defense. Another important military application for phased arrays is airborne radar. Consider, for instance, the F-18 radar. It uses a phased array, a flat face phased array at the front of the radar, followed by all of the electronics. And in the front of that radar are things like transmit receive modules, high power amplifiers, low noise amplifiers, and power combining networks, and the other essentials for phased arrays. This radar provides functionality that was previ previously unattainable for these airborne fighter planes. And it's that phased array that really gives them the capabilities that are required in modern warfare. So a third application for phased arrays uh, in radar for military systems is the SPY-2 radar used on the Aegis platform. It provides missile defense detection and other functionality that's critical for the protection of the fleet and other uh, critical assets. These radars are truly state-of-the-art and contain electronics and antenna systems that are on the cutting edge of phased arrays and are a, a very good example of a phased array application in radar. Another really important application for radar and phased arrays is automotive systems. As many of you probably know, autonomous driving vehicles are, are available now and their, their use is gonna become ubiquitous. It's gonna be very common to see and to use self-driving vehicles. And what's one of the sensors that's going to be on those self-driving vehicles? Well, it's a radar system. And those radar systems will use what? A phased array. And why will they do that? Well, it's because that they can do imaging with a phased array radar in these automotive applications that they can't do with other systems. For instance, optical systems can't see through fog or smoke, but a radar system that does imaging is able to see through smog and smoke. And everybody who's, uh, anyone who's driven uh, through fog knows that uh, if you can't see through that fog, you don't know what you're heading into. So having a radar that can do imaging is very valuable. Also, the radar that's in front of these vehicles can be used for target discrimination for autonomous uh, driving in ways that weren't possible previously and will allow speeds of vehicles that weren't uh, allowed previously with uh, these uh, front-end radars in these vehicles. So this, this application turns out to be critical and very important for radars and phased arrays. The last application of radar and phased arrays that I'm going to describe is perimeter protection radars. These radars are able to scan the perimeter of buildings, uh, assets such as harbors, uh, such as shipping and receiving areas and storage areas to look for um, undesired personnel and for activity that is unscheduled and unexpected. These perimeter radars can protect the valuable assets of companies 
uh, so that there isn't losses that are that uh, would otherwise occur. They, they can also uh, forewarn of approaching dangers and, and other obstacles. And these things are actually very sophisticated and are able to detect things like uh, human motion versus the motion of, a, of a, uh, an animal walking. They're highly discriminative and are able to use filters that allow them to know what kind of target they're looking at even before they can image it. Uh, so this, that, that, that application is important. Of course, it's a corporate, uh, non-military application, but yet still a, an important and viable application of radar and phased arrays. If you found this video useful, then check out our white paper below. In it, I talk about other applications of radar and phased arrays and how radar and phased arrays are sort of like the match made in heaven where the radar is able to provide functionality enabled by the phased array. Also, if you're considering a phased array, then look to us as your partner. We'll help you get your product to market faster. Until next time, this is Rick Sturdivant with MPT.